Hey guys and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we'll talk about the scatter plot in matplotlib. The scatter plot is a very simple type of a graph that's used to represent plotted points, a collection of plotted points. We plot all these individual points to our graph and then look for some kind of uh, correlation, some kind of trend, like we look for grouping of points, like uh, are the points converging at a certain point? Is there, is there some kind of ascending or descending trend, directly proportional, inversely inversely proportional, and so on, that kind of thing. So that's what the scatter plot is used for, basically displaying a lot of random points, and then looking for some kind of uh, correlation, some kind of meaning behind that graph. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to plot this graph, plot the scatter, scatter plot, and then we'll take a look at how to customize it, change the colors around, change the markers used, plot multiple scatter plots on the same graph, etc. Okay, so what I'll do first is import NumPy. And the reason I'm importing NumPy is because uh, we need to generate some data here. And we're, we'll need a, a lot of data for these scatter plots. So I'm not going to sit down and actually define a hundred different coordinates. I'm just going to use NumPy's random generating functions to generate our data randomly. So let's begin. What I'll do first is generate the data for the x axis. We'll do NumPy, sorry, np dot random dot random. And we'll pass in the size mm -hmm. over here. Okay. This will give me uh, 100 values ranging from 0 to 1. Then we'll do the same for the y-axis, np.random.random, and generate 100 values for the y-axis. Okay. Now we'll create our figure and axis object from the plt.subplots function. Okay. And then we're going to call the scatter method from our axis object. Okay, and this takes the x and the y data. And then we'll call plt.show so that we actually, you know, our graph actually gets displayed on the window. So if we do this, we'll get our scatter plot right here. And obviously there's no real correlation here. And that's because we're just uh, randomly generating this data. If you actually got a real data set from somewhere, then chances are that you would actually notice some kind of, you know, meaning behind that graph. Okay. But over here, uh, well, not really. Okay. So what we'll do now is actually take a look at how we can customize this a bit. So one thing that we can do, and one thing that is commonly done, is that we plot two scatter plots on the same graph. This way we can kind of, you know, measure two different uh, sets of data. Okay. So let me just duplicate this. Okay, call it x2 and y2. Then all we need to do is on the same axis object, do not create a, a different, you know, figure and axis object unless you maybe intend to create a, a separate window entirely. But we want to plot them both on the same graph, on the same figure. So we'll use the same axis object. We'll use the, the, the scatter function of the same axis object. So if I run this code now, we'll get our data plotted. Okay. So matplotlib will automatically change the color between different uh, plot calls, between different scatter functions or, or, you know, any kind of plotting function really, like the bar function or the plot function. It'll change all that automatically. All right. So you don't need to, need to do that. But we can also manually change the colors. So we can do something like C is equal to uh, red, and we can change this one to say green. And if I run this now, you can see that we now have red and green. Okay, so you can just manually change the colors like this. You can even change them both to the same color, uh, but that might not be what you want because you, you won't be able to tell the difference, right? Another thing that you can do is do plt.legend, Okay, and no, that didn't show up. Okay, hold on. We need to actually add something else uh, for that to work. Hold on, I think it's, uh, hold on. I'll need to look this up. 
and yeah, it turns out I was right about that. We need to use the label parameter. So I'm gonna call it. Uh, let's call this number one. I don't. I don't really can't come up with a better name than that right now. So let me just change that to number two. And if we take a look at our legend now, we can see that it's properly, you know, showing the points. Okay, and it's pretty good. It works very nicely when you have the color defined as well. Uh, also, of course, it'll, it'll also show the automatic colors. So if I just remove this, it'll still show the colors over there because Matplotlib by default gives them colors, different colors, right? So it shows up over there. I'm not sure why it just changed directions. Is it random? Mm, I'm not sure, but okay. So over here, we can clearly see that the colors are showing up, the name is showing up, okay? And yeah, pretty cool, right? So there's more we can do. There's one more thing I wanna show you before I end this tutorial. There's something called markers. Because as you can see, by default, we're using round dots for our scatter plot, right? But maybe you want to change this. Or maybe you want to plot multiple scatter plots and maybe just to create more distinction, other than just changing the colors, you want to even change the shapes that they are represented in. Okay, so uh, for example, let me show you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna revert the colors back because I, I like the red and green. So what I'll do is use the marker parameter, okay? And I'll pass in an asterisk, okay? And for the sake of it, let's just change the second one as well. Okay, uh, now I think there's one called D. Uh, and by the way, I'll have a list of these on my website. Okay, oh yeah, D stood for diamond. I, I remember now. So yeah, we can see the asterisks over there and the D, we can see the, the diamonds over here as well. And there are a whole bunch of these. I think there are like a dozen different types of markers that you can use. Uh, there are even some that have like, they're called one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure what happens. Okay, that's a bit weird, but uh, it's interesting. And, uh, okay, cool. We can also do a uh, dot. I think this is a very small circle, yeah. As we can see over there. So the, these are markers and I'll, I'll have a whole list of different colors, different markers that we can use with scatter plots on my website. So if you have any confusion, if there's something more you want to see, just go there. I'll have a link in the description below. Okay, so yeah, with this we'll end the t t tutorial. If there's anything you want to ask, just ask in the comment section below any suggestions you want to make. Okay, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Stay updated, stay updated with all our new content. We have a lot more Matplotlib videos coming out and we're really gonna cover, you know, try to make a, a comprehensive playlist on Matplotlib that'll cover everything from start to finish. Not just the basic graphs, not just the basic plots, but also all the other features that most people don't even know about, okay? So yeah, see you in a later video.